Dear students, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to explain the next lines. The chair she sat in like a burnished throne, glowed on the marble, where the glass held up by standards wrought with fruited vines, from which a golden cupid peeped out. Once again, the chair she sat in like a burnished throne, glowed on the marble were the glass held up by stand standards wrought with fruited vines from which a golden cupid peeped out. Here the poet explains the futility of lust. Futility, you know that? Uselessness of lust. The scene is a luxurious apartment of a woman who is waiting for her lover. The room and she herself recall the luxuries or the luxuries of Cleopatra and the wealth of jewels possessed by Belinda, the heroine of Pope's Rape of the Lock. You know that Alexander Pope, his famous uh, literary work, Rape of the Lock. It was a mock heroic narrative poem written by Alexander Pope, The Rape of the Lock. Barge, the word meaning, you know, a long flat bottomed boat. So here you can see that most luxurious scene, the scene is luxurious apartment of a woman. Who is waiting there? Cleopatra is waiting there for her lover. The room and she herself recall the luxuries of Cleopatra and the and the wealth of jewels possessed by Belinda, the heroine of Pope's Rape of the Lock. Cleopatra in all her glory is described by Shakespeare uh, when she is sailing on a barge. Barge, you know that? It's a kind of boat. Uh, when she is uh, sailing on a barge in the Nile, the barge shone like burnished gold burnished means rubbed or polished it is like the polished gold the pope was of beaten gold was of beaten gold uh, because of the reflection of the gold of cleopatra here the modern cleopatra sits in a chair nearby the images of cupid made of gold who is cupid cupid is the god of love cupid is nearby god of love image of cupid made of gold uh, it is a greek god of love that is cupid so this scene we can see that the luxuries of human life uh, the luxuries and the pompness of human lives are described in this scene but uh, the poet is going to explain the futility uselessness of all these luxuries in this uh, poem, Wasteland, um, the poet is going to explain the futility, uselessness of this luxury, luxuries or a, a luxurious life. Because uh, Wasteland, it is, the, it is the land of our barren field. Uh, it lacks the fertility and everything is like as dead. Okay, the next four lines. Above the antique mantle was displayed as though a window gave upon the Silvan scene the change of Philomel by the barbarous king so rudely forced. Once again, Above the antique mantle was displayed as though a window gave upon the Sylvan scene the change of Philomel by the barbarous king so rudely forced. Here the context is the story of Philomela. Philomela, um, Philomela is a figure in Greek mythology. Princess of Athens, the younger of two daughters of Pantheon, the king of Pantheon. 
his two daughters were there and the youngest one was philomela her sister prons a uh, wife of king teras that king teras raped philomela uh, philomela is his uh, sis, wife's sister in the former scene we found the glory and the luxuries of human life and uh, a barge was there that's full of gold and uh, very costly items among the ornaments in the apartment of the woman waiting for her lover there is a picture of the ancient greek story of philomela one picture was there picture of philomela she was a greek princess ravished by her brother in law ravished you know that what's the word meaning ravished seized and carry off and raped such meanings are there so she was a greek princess ravished by her brother in law king teras when uh, he was escorting her to her sister when this was learned by her sister prons her sister's name was prons when she learned about it prons the teras wife when she learned about it uh, she took a barbarous revenge by serving the flesh of her son by serving the flesh of her her own child to her husband at dinner it was a barbarous revenge so she served the flesh of her own child to her husband at dinner later god changed all the three into birds god changed all the three into birds philomela became a nightingale the ravished prince is singing a song of innocence which cannot be stained in any way so this is the story it's a greek story you know that greek mythology is full of such stories here we can see the futility of uh, lust or the uselessness of all the pomps and glories and uh, splendidness of life in the first scene we can see the barge of cleopatra full of gold and uh, costly materials and uh, other ornaments but in the second scene we can see that uh, all these things are waste so uh, T.S. Eliot in his uh, famous poem, Wasteland, he clearly pictures the usefulness of life.